Well, sports fans, here we are again. Uh, I decided I was going to put some other weird thing into the next uh, art uh, exhibit down at the local gallery. Every time I put something in, I try to do something different. And usually they have no idea what the heck to do with my stuff. It's eclectic. Um, so I was watching some uh, videos like lots of people do, and I'm trying to come up with the next thing I want to put in. And I said, you know what? I think I might do a little bit of like carving. You know, there's a bunch of uh, videos uh, about carving uh, faces like this. And I thought, well, that'd be pretty cool. I'll try that. But one of the things I have to be very concerned about uh, is dust. In my little shop here, I actually set off the fire alarm a couple of weeks ago and had the, the big fire truck roll out because the dust had tripped that alarm. So when I start using my Dremel tool to carve stuff over here, I said, I need a uh, station that'll pull most of that dust out so it doesn't set the fire alarm off again. And I watched a bunch of videos and almost all of them take, you know, forever to show you how to make the box. Um, and I said, well, that's ridiculous. What if I don't want to do this more than one or two times? I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time and money making a real fancy box. That's pretty nice. But how am I going to get uh, this dust thing kind of under control? And I said, I'm just going to make one out of cardboard. And I'll show you how I did this um, and the parts you need. And basically, you don't need a daggone thing but a bunch of cardboard. And um, one or two tools. Here's the tools. You need some tape. You could use this kind or whatever. Packing tape. You need a sharp knife like that. You need something to make some marks with. And this is very, very helpful because you can wing this by hand with the cutter. But it really helps if you have a hard uh, steel ruler because you can use this as the edge that you can pull your cutter down on so you can get your lines nice and straight. Not that that makes a whole lot of difference, but... We're going to bend a bunch of this cardboard, and it's much, much more helpful to have the um, semi-depth cuts uh, really, really straight so you can fold this cardboard over. So what I have here is basically uh, three, four pieces of cardboard and a couple little pieces. And this is what it looks like, and here's where you plug your vacuum sweeper in, right here. Now, I don't know how big the hole for you has to be to plug your vac system into, but uh, it's probably a uh, usual vac is two and a quarter, I think. Anyway, uh, we're going to stack up a bunch of pieces of cardboard here to make a thickness so that uh, your vac hose will plug in here, right? So we need uh, one, two, three, four pieces of cardboard and a about four little pieces of cardboard and they are like this so I'm going to show you how to do this first the first piece of cardboard you want to cut is this you need a 20 20 inch by 10 inch piece and depending on which way you put this together you may need a hole here or in the other piece so you need one of these at 10 by 20 you need another one at 10 by 20. And see, I cut the hole in this one right here. And you need a third one at 10 by 20, but you're going to actually cut the bottom of this one off. But you start off with a 10 by 20. And then you'll need another piece, and this is a little optional right here for this top piece this piece right here um, the one I was using was about eight inches to a fold line right it's 21 inches wide um, and 10 inches or so but you can finally decide that when you get ready to put yours on as to how much of a flap you want up here on the top like that because this is, comes over from the back and goes out the front. I'll show you as I put this together. And then you need at least 
three pieces like this. It's about 10 inches this way, about five inches this way, and maybe five, six inches this way. It depends on where you're gonna end up uh, putting the hole in the back of your unit over here for your vacuum sweeper. And once again, I don't know how big this hole has to be. It depends on your vacuum sweeper hose. So I can't tell you exactly how to cut that. I know when I did mine, uh, I didn't have a, a hole saw big enough to make this hole. I made a smaller one with the biggest saw I had. And then I used sandpaper and a file to um, make it so the, um, the hose would go right in there. Okay, so the construction process is like this. Start off with these right here. Is you cut your piece so it's 10 by 20 up and down like that. And then you find the center this way so you know where the center of it is. And then you make a four and a half inch off the center right so two and a quarter this way two and a quarter that way and make a mark and make a mark and then you make a dotted line from here down to the corner and the reason I'm saying dotted line is because you're not going to cut all the way through on this you're just going to cut a partial way through partial way through and then you bend this over so you get a flap okay same thing over here dotted line means don't cut all the way through cut through a little bit just the top edge and then you can fold this over so you do that with one piece remember this is four and a half here the other piece is very similar except it's only four inches to this way to that way you may or may not have put a hole in here it depends on how you stack this I, I put it on the four and a half one but uh, it's still a 10 by 20, but this time you come off of the four, the four inch width and you come down to the corner and you don't cut all the way through. So you make two of those and you're ready to put them together. And you do that like this. One goes inside the other. Four and a half goes outside so that they come together like this and the edges match where the fold is. That's why the, uh, the one on the outside is a four and a half because the cut or the bend I should say needs to consider how thick this piece is here. So the four and a half goes over the four and you get a nice tight fit and that makes the main collection agency right there so you tape those two together just like that right and then and it's easiest to do it at this point is that you take this other piece right here which is one once again it's 20 20 but this time instead of four four and a half you make an eight and a half which would be four and a quarter over to here and four and a quarter over to here and then yeah and then you take your ruler which is why it's good to have a steel ruler and you measure from that point right there down to wherever this hits that line right there at ten and a half so you take your your ruler and you come off of here and you turn this until you get I'm upside down on this but anyway you turn this until you get to ten and a half right there and you want draw that line too dotted because you're going to cut it now that will leave you if you if you had come in with the um, original uh, ten by twenty that would leave you with a piece down here that you're going to have to cut off, right? So now we've got bends here and here and here and here, here and here. 
this then you can drill a bunch of holes in it now on mine I think I, I put too big of a holes right I think they may be a little bit too big I think probably having a lot more small holes like this would be a better option I might try it by cha changing that one on mine down there with this one over here and see if it works a little bit better all right so now we've got this piece and you got those two pieces all taped together you can take this piece and it's going to lay in here with the holes in it it's going to lay in here and go over the top of the hole for the um, vacuum input and come down here this way right so there's holes in there and then this will lay in there and you'll have your holes being sucked into the dirt sucked into here pretty straightforward and finally this piece here will lay on the top and you can monkey around with it to get as much depth on this as you want or none or whatever I'm, I'm finding I think that this needs to be further down um, and probably with a piece of saran wrap on it so you could look down through here and see what you were carving I haven't tried that yet but I think I'm going to do that is modify this thing so I've got actually a longer uh, longer coverage here so that it pulls air through a smaller area so anyway this thing right here the top right here is um, kind of at your discretion as to where you put the bend All right, once again you cut part way through and then that will go on the top here and the final piece is to make the uh, hole back here where the vac is going to come in to make that hole you need to stack up a bunch of these and if you don't have a hole cutter you're going to have to do one at a time so you stack them all up and you take some tape and you tape them real together really really hard so they can't move and then you put that over top of the hole on the back and that gives you enough th uh, thickness that you can plug your vac system into that and that's it four pieces big pieces and three small pieces and Bob's your uncle and I just tried it out it works pretty good but I think I'm gonna actually add a piece of clear plastic or maybe even just saran wrap to here so that I can get this narrow down even more so it pulls more air down closer to the holes does it work yes it does could it work better yeah I think it could could it be any cheaper no I don't think it could it's a roll of tape and four pieces of cardboard so there you go I'm not sure what to call this uh, other than cheap no really cheap no free yep so there's my answer to uh, I don't want to make a great big one because I don't have any place to store it I don't want to spend a lot of time and a lot of money because I don't know if I'm going to keep using this thing um, and if it gets messed up guess what <laughs> crunch it up and throw it in the trash oh, recycle don't throw it in the trash so there's my latest project getting ready to create my latest project to put something weird into the next gallery show I seldom win anything because they don't know where to put me I always end up in other <laughs>